Hey guys, let's talk about um, soaking and cleaning implant dentures, in particular uh, snap-in dentures. I was not given any um, specific care instructions, okay? So, I just, I've, all this time, I've just, so, I've soaked them. I started using, um, well, when I first got my implants and temporary denture, I was using just regular denture tabs, um, from the store and toothpaste. Then I started using uh, the Dr. B's Dental Solutions clean it in paste because I found it to be a lot less abrasive than toothpaste. And plus I was told that regular toothpaste was too abrasive um, for dentures. It supposedly will scratch the acrylic and cause microscopic holes um, in your dentures. And I also started using the Dr. B's clean it in crystals because um, I was developing thrush and I learned that it was a great product um, to combat thrush and other infections, oral infections. Okay, so since I've had my permanent snap indenture, okay, which I got, it'll be almost a year in August, I have been using a combination of things to soak, okay? I have soaked in the denture tabs overnight. Um, recently, um, I've not been using those. Um, I haven't really, I haven't used them at all recently. I have been going back and forth between the Dr. B's uh, liquid cleaning crystals and a mix of 50-50 hydrogen peroxide and water. And then I use the Dr. B's clean it paste to brush my gums, implants, and the snap indenture when it comes out of the soak. Then I found uh, Alicia, Glitterhead Dental Diaries, uh, which she is another YouTuber. She just had mini dental implant surgery and got snap dentures top and bottom. Her and I got to talking, and her dentist told her not to, not to soak her snap dentures. Um, he basically told her, I believe, toothpaste. She could use toothpaste, uh, but to do not soak them. Okay, and I had never heard of that. I, I hadn't. I, I thought, that's crazy. I've never heard of a dentist telling you not to soak your dentures. But then again, I didn't ask. My, I wasn't given any specific instructions, and I didn't ask them. So her and I have kind of been going back and forth with this, trying to find, um, I believe she emailed her dentist again and asked them, and we've kind of been doing some research. Finally, I messaged, uh, sent an email to J.P. Berlin, who is Dr. B's son, and asked him about soaking implant dentures. Um, I asked him, I told him that I had heard that you were not supposed to soak implant dentures because it would damage the O-rings. The O-rings are the little holes in the denture, which I'll show you. The O-rings are the holes here that the implants snap into, okay? So, Alicia Glitterhead Dental Diaries was told soaking um, her implant dentures would uh, damage those O-rings and they would have to be replaced a lot sooner than um, the normal six to nine months. Okay, so I emailed J.P. Berlin, who is Dr. B's uh, son, and asked him, and he gave me a response. Now, this is quite... I'm going to have to read this because I can't, um, I can't remember all this. Basically, he says, this is an especially an important topic, and I'm glad that you reached out to us. The O-rings on most locators are made out of a type of nylon material, which is damaged by pretty much every cleanser. The nylon material become more brittle and changes size from exposure to cleansers. Our clean it in liquid crystals soap cleanser, however, was designed while working with Zest Dental Solutions, which is one of the largest manufacturers of the locator attachments, including those O-rings you mentioned, if not the largest. Our liquid crystals cleanser is actually the only one recommended by Zest as safe for the rings and we want to get the word out there so pe more people know about the solution. Um, let's see. We can 
We are actually working with them on a marketing campaign uh, for all the representatives to inform Denison Labs. And then he told me, he said, you can tell Alicia that um, our liquid, liquid, our cleaned it liquid crystals are safe for her appliance, unlike any other cleanser on the market, which will damage those O-rings. And then Alicia sent me um, a couple um, web searches that she did, which basically they said the same thing. Any type of abrasive cleaners or whitening um, harsh toothpaste will damage your new snap indentures. Absolutely um, do not use bleach or soak them. Okay, so that brings me to, it says avoid placing your snap indentures in hot water as well. That same website also said that you could use um, soap and water, um, which I'm sure they mean like a Dawn dish detergent. Okay, I know quite a few of you already use the Dr. B's Dental Solutions. For those of you that have never tried it, I'm going to put the link um, in the description. Um, right now they have a code for 20% off. There's two different codes. If you've never ordered before, you can use code DENT, D-E-N-T. That code is good to use twice for 20% off. Or um, if you think you're going to continue to order, I would use a, the current code, which is WIPES20. And then when you go to reorder, you can use your code DENT. Okay. If you um, are in a position where you just cannot afford the Dr. B's um, right now, I understand. You can um, clean your snap indentures with soap and water and then soak in 50-50 hydrogen peroxide in water um, no longer than 15 minutes. Now, there is nothing out there that says um, hydrogen peroxide is safe. I, I don't know. Personally, I use that. I alternate that with the Dr. B's liquid cleaning crystals. Uh, but I don't soak very long and the only reason I use that um, is because I want to make sure my denture um, is disinfected. Being a denture wearer or snap indenture wearer, I mean the snap indenture as far as really the only difference between that and a regular denture is that you've got these O-rings and implants to snap the denture in place. The basic denture is made out of the same material and it can harbor bacteria. So it has to be disinfected, guys. It has to be. Um, that's just my personal opinion. You can't just keep this thing in your mouth um, and not take it out and disinfect it. If you think about everything that I've spoke about, you know, dentures have been around for years. Um, and denture pro just the denture products that are out on the market were designed specifically for dentures. Implants did not come out until the 80s. Um, and snap-in dentures did not come out until much later than that. Um, I could not find an, an exact year when the snap-in dentures came out. But um, as far as I know, there isn't a lot of products out there designed for implant wearers except for the Dr. B's. I mean, Dr. B is, uh, was a dentist. He's retired. He's got 40 years experience, and he created these products um, specifically for denture and implant wearers. Okay, so just to go over everything I've talked about, no bleach, no denture cleaning tabs, um, no harsh cleansers to soak your implant or snap indentures. Um, I personally alternate between warm water, hydrogen peroxide, no longer than 15 minutes, and the Dr. B's liquid cleaning crystals, um, which is two or three pumps mixed with warm water, um, and you can soak between 5 and 20 minutes. Okay, to brush your actual um, snap indenture, either soap and water or Dr. B's clean and dent paste or some type of denture paste, I would not recommend toothpaste. It's too abrasive. Um, for your gums and implants, some type of denture paste or Dr. B's clean and dent uh, paste. 
right, guys, that's all I have. I hope uh, you guys found this video useful. If anyone has any questions, leave them in the comments. I hope everyone has a fantastic day, a safe and fun and fantastic holiday, uh, 4th of July. You guys have a great day.